Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a lower third title and animate it all within Premiere. Don't have to go into Photoshop or After Effects because I know it can be a little bit scary. So although After Effects is a little bit more well suited for animating text, you can do a little bit more advanced things. There's nothing stopping you from creating a basic functional and nice looking lower third title all within Premiere Pro. I've got this example clip laid on the timeline so you guys have something nice to look at here. And what we're gonna be doing is building this right within the title menu. So let's go to title, new title, and add a new default still title. Press okay and make sure you're in the titles menu and you should be able to start building your title out. So on the right hand side, you should see these four tabs, title styles, properties, tools, and actions for us to build out our title with. So if we open up the title tools, we can switch from our type tool to actually create some shapes. So here we can create some basic rectangles to build out our lower thirds. So let me create a rectangle just by clicking and dragging out here. And then you can always grab the move tool and move it around or expand it and things like that. So I have that rectangle placed and now you can go into title properties and say I want to adjust the color of this. I can change the color to be whatever I want. So I can make blue or black, whatever titles I want. And you can also adjust things like the opacity. So I'll make this one 75% so you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on behind. Next, we want to add some text. So let's go back to our title tools menu, grab our text tool, and then click and type out whatever you want. So here you might be introducing someone's name and you might not be able to see it because it's still using that blue color, but I'll just highlight this. And then if we go into the title properties menu, you can change things like the font, the color, the opacity, all that once again. So I'll take the text to 100% opacity and I'll make it white so it's visible against the blue background. I'll also change the font and if you want you can play around with some of the character aspects like the sizing and the tracking of it to get it looking how you want. So I'll leave it at that actually. I'll make it so that this lower third is showing my social media handles like Instagram and Twitter. And then I'll go back into the title tools. I'll grab the move tool. And from here you can move and arrange things. So I can move the rectangle or I can click on just the text layer and move that around until it's center or in whatever corner or position I want. You could keep adding text if there was a message that you wanted to put under it or some other subtitle like their position at a company or whatever. But I'll leave it just very simple social media handle inside the rectangle. All right, so now that we've got our basic shapes and text laid out, we see the title is in our project media bin. So we can click and drag it onto our project now over clips and footage. However, you can't really animate things within the title or paragraph properties menu here. You have to animate the actual clip with keyframes. So there's a few ways that you can decide to animate this on. If you wanted to keep it super simple, you could just do a simple default fade in and fade out and it would just statically stay in place it would fade in, introduce whatever you need to introduce, and then fade out. However, let's say we wanted it to slide in from the right. So I'll cancel out these fade in and fade outs. So I'll clear them. And let's add some positional keyframes to have it slide in. So I'll go all the way to the beginning of the clip. I'll add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon so we can toggle animation on. And I'll move the X position all the way over to the left until it's off the screen. Then I'll go over just about one second and I'll move the X position until it's back in on the screen right where I want it. Now you can move over a little bit and then when you want it to go get off the screen, I'll just take this keyframe right here, copy and paste it, and then take this keyframe right here, copy and paste it over at the end. So there you have a simple slide in from the right and then exit left. However, there's also one thing you can do to make it look not so robotic and come to a stop like that. If we actually drop down this menu to the velocity sliders, you can take the keyframes and you can add a little bit of velocity to the speed so it's a bit more gradual and smooth looking. So I'll highlight the first keyframe and I'll pull the velocity slider up and I'll pull the second keyframe down. So now we have a smooth ramp and then I'll do the same thing here. I'll pull the, this down and pull this keyframe's velocity up. So now we have two smooth ramps. So what that's gonna look like if we play it back is it, it kind of whips in but slowly eases into its spot 
and then slowly exits out with increasing velocity. So you could play around with different velocities. You could also right click the clips and just see how it look with ease in or ease out. But that's a simple way to make it look a little bit more advanced than it is. And one more cool way that you can make these titles look a little bit more intricate than they actually are is by heading over to the effects panel on the right hand side. And in the video effects folder, there's a folder with transition effects. And you can also play around with adding actual video transition effects on there. For example, one cool one you can do is actually take the Venetian blinds effect, click and drag it onto the clip and then add some keyframes to make it cut in and cut out. So you can see what this effect does is it allows you to create that Venetian blind transition. You can adjust things like the width of the bars or the direction of the bars. So I'll pull all the way back to the beginning. I'll add a transition completeness at 100%. And then right when the object is at the second keyframe where it's in position, I'll take that back down to zero. And then we'll go over back and do the opposite, just like last time. We'll start at zero, and then we'll take it to 100. So now not only will it slide in from the left, it'll also open up with that kind of interesting crop effect, and the creative possibilities are pretty endless. So that's a nice way to make it more intricate, make people think that maybe you actually built this out in After Effects. And you can see there's actually a lot that you can do in Premiere. It's just kind of a little less obvious. From here, once you've got your transition completed, you could actually just duplicate this title template. So you could duplicate it by right clicking on it and then you could change the actual text. So let's say you wanted to introduce someone else. You could double click on this title copy and change the text to fit different situations in your project. So you could go on that first title, copy all the video effects and then paste them on this one and you get the same transition that happens again as long as you keep the title lengths the same. So these are each the same length. So that's a pretty basic introduction on how you can build lower third titles and different animated title graphics all within Premiere Pro. The more intricate you'd want to make it, the more you just apply these same techniques to add social media icons or add different bars with different subtitle text. However, that's the main idea. If you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe here on YouTube if you're not, so you can stay tuned for all my future videos. And if you missed it, check out my how to create lower thirds in After Effects tutorial for a good look at how to do this in After Effects and the options you have there. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.